Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. I hope you all are ready for some magic today because I have my witch casket of January to unbox. So it's the first box of a brand new year, so I'm really curious to see um, what the team is and the items uh, linked to the team because as usual they didn't um, announce the team so it's always a little surprise when you open the box but before we discover all the magical tools uh, in this cardboard little box uh, if you're new to my channel hi welcome to quill scene my name is Megan if you like things that have to do with magic with Harry Potter I'm a proud Gryffindor um, with Star Wars, with Disney, with anything geeky really, with books, with writing, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and hit that bell, because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, um, time to get our cauldrons bubbling, because we have a new witch casket to unbox. As usual before we start a little bit more information about Witch Casket for the ones who don't know it yet. Witch Casket is a beautiful company based in the UK and it's run by a mother and daughter team, team uh, Dap and Ala if I remember correctly. Um, so it's a monthly subscription box, um, every month has a team. Uh, sometimes they send out emails or little spoilers on their Instagram to hint the team of the coming one because I know that for uh, February they did this and the theme for February will be um, self-love which is quite fitting with Valentine's Day and everything um, but usually I don't uh, hint uh, the team so it's always a little surprise when you open up the box and see the spoil card with the theme on it um, every box is jam-packed with all sorts of items um, Think of a beautiful art print that fits the theme, a little spell or ritual kit, um, a beautiful gemstone. Um, so yeah, really fun witchy things. Um, what I also love about this company is that, which you'll see in a second, that their spoiler card isn't just a little piece of paper or a card, but it's actually a little booklet. Um, with all information about um, every single item, like this much text usually. Um, and it also has in uh, on the front um, a little message from uh, the owners of the box. Um, so it's really a fun box for both beginning witches as already practiced witches. So yeah, that's always fun. Um, and it always includes like things you can use for your practicing itself, but also decoration for your altar or for your magical room. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, that I can say well on their website you also have their uh, online store but you have to uh, be a subscriber to uh, enter their online store because it works with a password and you only get a password when you are a subscriber um, and on that way you can uh, order I think a few items that they still have in stock from previous boxes uh, but usually when the items are gone they are gone so it's really exclusive um, so yeah enough babbling, babbling about the box um, it's time to discover the team and discover all the items. Sneak peek time! So we have our uh, normal witch casket box and when we open it the first thing we see is the spoiler card and we can see that the January box has a theme protection and we also can see moon phases, love the details and the aesthetics and stuff like that and underneath we have all sorts of goodies so as i said the first thing we see is like this little uh, booklet which is a spoiler card um it has uh the team protection and then of course january 2021 i love the little details of the moon face because i'm when when i have to identify as a witch i am somewhere between moon witch and nature witch Though I've, yeah, the moon has always been more my, my thing. Um, so yeah, uh, Celestial Witch, something like that. Um, but as I said, it's like a booklet with different pages and every... So in this one, you have like a little message of the owners of the box, but also all the information about um, 
every single item that's in the box. So um, yeah, as I said, really handy for both beginning witches as already more practiced witches. And it's also fun if you have questions or need more information, you can always mes message them on um, Instagram or send them an email and uh, they will love to help you with anything you're wondering about. So yeah, that's always cool. But this one is for later. Uh, time for the first thing. Then the first thing we see is like this little card like art print, which says Witch's Brew. And it has like a little pentagram on uh, the um, cup. And you can see that all there is like steam, magical steam and a little ghost coming out of the cup. So uh, yeah, in my case, the Witch's Brew would be coffee because I'm not a huge tea fan. Um, well, not huge is a little bit of an understatement. I just don't like tea. So all the teas that come in my boxes are going to my cousins or my friends who do like tea. Because, uh, yeah, I don't throw them out. I just re-gift them. Um, but yeah, really fun art print. And it matches the color scheme of the spoiler card being black and white. And usually that is then um, every spoiler card comes in like a different color scheme and different details and that is also the color scheme and detail like that they usually draw throughout the items of the box so it's all you know linked to each other but yeah really cool art print then we have our little bag Ooh. and this is um, the spell kit or ritual kit and this one says protection pendant ritual Contains everything you need to carry protection with you. Ooh, protection pendant. So I guess this is will be like a necklace that you can, you know, use in the ritual and then you can carry out around in your daily life. Let's carefully open it because I don't like to rip the stickers. Okay. So the first thing we of course always have is like this little uh, card with a beautiful uh, design on the one side and then on the other side we have the ritual and it is for the protection pendant, it says all the things you need and then um, also a chant you have uh, to chant during uh, the ritual and then how you have to perform the ritual so that's always handy, I usually um, after I, I've done the ritual I add these to my uh, book of shadows so we have that and then inside we have of course all the needed things for the ritual. I'm going to get everything out. We have a little black spell candle also known as chime candles. And then, whoops, I'm going to put the baggie at the side because otherwise I will lose it or it will fall to the ground. We have uh, a little organza bag and we have um, a necklace as I suspected with like this spiral metal cage in it I have another one of these um, and we have like a little um, piece of quartz and you can basically pull the um, spiral a bit open and then when you have done your ritual you can put with a bit of force and jiggling and everything you can put this stone inside of the spiral cage and then it's inside of your necklace and you can carry it around every day so yeah really cool love me some magic jewelry as a teenager i used to wear yeah my pentagram necklace the entire time and i also had like one of these spiral necklaces in which i put uh, one of my birdstones and yeah love me some magic jewelry so yeah that's everything you need uh, for this ritual and also everything that's in this bag i'm going to put everything together again so we don't lose anything of course uh, next we have ooh, something made out of fabric Let's open it up. Oh, look how pretty. It's a cloth. Bit, bit bigger than a handkerchief uh, size. And it's again blue and uh, blue, black and <laughs> white. I mean the color scheme and it says a beautiful pentagram on it. Um, you can see like uh, 
hearts and skulls and uh, magic bottles and flowers and everything so yeah I, it's really pretty um, perfect to decorate your altar with um, so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this in a, my magic space as an altar piece um, also really fun when you have like um, doing a reading a tarot card reading or an oracle reading card uh, reading with your oracle cards then you can use this one too as an underground so yeah really really cool i love it i love me some pentacles ah, i love this box so much my monthly doses of energy of magic okay put you aside then we have an item that they actually um hinted on their instagram um, it's a little notepad um, meant for your uh, intentions and this is like their um, yeah happy new year extra gift because it's an extra um, you can use it for to-do list you can use it for um, grocery list you can use it for everything really um, but you can also use it for your intentions for the new year um, but also for the intentions in your magic so yeah that's really handy and as a writer you can always yeah make me happy with things to write on so really really nice and i love again the fact it's a simple design but it has pentagrams or pentacles or however you want to call it so yeah really love it and next we have more pentacles or pentagrams it's a little iron on patch this reminds me a bit of uh, supernatural <laughs> because they have like also a pentagram in in some sort of like sun sigil um as a, a tattoo um because that's like the protection symbol so that demons can possess you um so this kind of reminds me a bit of that but yeah a really cool patch i have a little box where I keep all my patches in because I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with these. Um, I don't want to throw them out um, because I like them too much for that but yeah I'm thinking about either making a blanket or, or um, like a little chair or something or a pillow with all my iron-on patches I don't know yet but yeah this one is another one to add to my collection. And then we have a little box Ooh. and it says when I can read it super hit Stamford Ooh. oh so this was a thing I was, I was smelling so this is like incense sticks I like the design it has a lot of um, yeah it's it's it helps for positivity it says uh, I can't find the smell of it, but um, it has a lot of like the um, zodiac signs and everything on it. I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> um, so yeah, and they smell really nice. They they smell like incense should smell. You know, when you think of incense, you have like this this standard scent in your your mind. Like your yeah, that's how this smells. Really, really love it. I like using incense, but again, if my cat isn't around because he's very sensitive to smell, but yeah, really, really like these ones. And you can, uh, as a practicing witch, you can never have enough too much candles or too much incense. So, love that they include that. Uh, then we have a beautiful velvet pouch with also a beautiful. Um, pentacle on it or pentagram and if I'm not mistaken is the same design as the one on our iron arm patch and it feels like a stone like a palm stone so a bigger one yes it is indeed a palm stone it's a black one I'm pretty sure it's either black agate or onyx but I think it's more black agate I'm not sure and in silver it says protection and it's a palm stone so you have to keep it like this on your palm and uh, you can use it during rituals during spells during meditation um, so yeah really really nice um, palm stone and I'm pretty sure this is like the gemstone for this month 
going to put it safely again in his velvet pouch. Then we have another organza bag with a pillar candle, like a tiny pillar candle. And it's like this grayish blue. And I love the, the effect that it's like this rubble effect on it. And there's also a little card with it. If I can get it out at least. Yes. This is a soy pillar candle. Uh, represents balance and stability in your magical space. Grey candles help with complex decision and compromise. Ooh, so very handy when you're like uh, doubting what you have to do. So yeah, Ooh, and it smells nice too. My mom uh, always laughs with me because I have like this entire box filled with, with candles and incense and everything. <laughs> And I always keep adding more. Uh, next we have our um, witch casket uh, tea. It's usually loose leaf tea. I'm not gonna open it because as I said before I don't drink tea so these are going to my cousins or my friends. Um, but it is digestive blue loose leaf tea so I'm guessing this when you make this uh, the water will turn blue and if I'm not mistaking uh, that has something to do with a plant named blue peacock leaves or something like that. I don't, as I said, I don't drink tea, but I know there is like this one ingredient that they often add to teas. And then when that's inside of the tea, uh, your water turns blue when you make your tea. So yeah, this is going to my cousins probably. Then we also have, ooh, I love it already. Um... What's also in uh, every box basically is their monthly pin, uh, which is of course witchy pin, and this time it is a beautiful pentagram slash pentacle. Um, because of course this one is not only like the symbol they are that is known for witchcraft, but also this is the symbol in Wicca for protection. So yeah, really really love it. Um, can't wait to add it to my magical pin board collection because uh, yeah, I'm making my own uh, magic pin board because I have so many magical pins by now. So yeah, really, really love this one. Then we have, I think, two items left. Yes, we'll go with this one. This is like a little box that says Alter Card Display. And on the back it says tarot altar or oracle cards are often used uh, to represent intentions in our magical space. Enhance your altar and present your card of the day with witch caskets and chanting altar card display. So I guess this is like, as it said, an altar card display. <laughs> now I have to open up the box, which isn't that easy because it's tight packed. Come on. Yeah, I already ripped it. Yay! There we go. And we have, indeed, oh, I love it. We have the moon phases that were also on the spoiler card, and this is basically a wooden block with a little uh, slit in it, and um, I'm going to use the uh, little art print as demonstration. So you put your Tarot card of the day or your oracle card of the day or an art print or you can even use it as a picture frame to put and display it like this. Really, really cool. I love it. And I love the fact that they added to moon phases. Again, I am, as I said, I am um, very sensitive to like things with moons and stars and celestial things. So yeah. <laughs> And then the very last thing, which uh, also comes with every box, is our little parchment scroll. And this time it's sealed again with a sticker, but with um, the design of uh, the pentacle again that was also on our iron on patch. I'm going to put it on the back of the paper and we have a 
parchment scroll for our book of shadows uh, about uh, magical protection aid. So we have like crystal crystals uh, that help with uh, protection, herbs that you can use in elixirs and brews for protection, uh, how you can use candles for protection. Uh, how you can use the pentacle or the pentagram for protection and of course how you um, use black salt for protection so yeah i love these scrolls um, i copy them in my in my book of shadows and then the original pages i keep in a folder um, so yeah i really really love these <laughs> always i'm so happy that they come with these um, and yeah that were all the items in this protection box uh, aside from our little uh, squishy yeah keep safe material don't know how you call it in English so time for our little spoiler card um, on the first two pages we have a beautiful drawing and then a little note from uh, Dab and Ala and then the next few pages are all about the items we got so uh, the first thing we got uh, which was also immediately an uh, witch casket exclusive is this altar card display holder to hold um, tarot cards, uh, oracle cards you like for the day or just an art print or a photograph can be used for all that sort of stuff. Um, then we also had our little pentacle clutch which is also an uh, witch casket exclusive to grace your altar with while representing the elements in your magical space with this oracle pentacle altar cloth indeed because i haven't told you guys yet for the ones who don't know um the pentacle pentagram or five pointed star as you can see here uh, represents all the elements we have um the ones on the side and the ones on the bottom to represent um of course the four elements known being fire water air and earth and then the top butter point the top point is uh, actually the one that stands for the spirit the mental part uh, the soul actually of um, yeah everything and all those five together stand for life but also for magic so uh, yeah we really love this one and then we also had our indeed yes I was right so we had our little um, well little this one is actually rather big, our palm stone. Um, and it is indeed from um, Black Agate, also a witch casket uh, exclusive. Uh, this captivating protection palm stone is imbued with the protection prosperities of Black Agate. Um, Black Agate protects from the forces of darkness, banishes bad dreams, dispels fear, and encourages encourage confidence and courage. Palm stones can be used for crystal healing, meditation can be um, carried with you or placed on your altar or around your home. So yeah, really, really love this one. I love the fact that it's like in silver, the protection. So yeah, really, really cool. Then we had our uh, pentacle patch, which was also a uh, uh, witch casket exclusive. Um, and as I said, the pentacle stands for protection so if you have like a jean jacket or a fun bag that you use uh, to carry around with you a lot you can put it on uh, that the fabric and uh, that way you always have like protection with you we stay with the pentacles because the next item uh, was this beautiful um, pentacle pin uh, again, perfect for your pin boards or to wear on your daily clothes uh, for some extra protection because as I just explained, the five-pointed pentacle um, unites all the elements and stands for protection. Uh, then we had our uh, scroll with the um, magical protection aids, a nice addition to our uh, spell book or grimoire or book of shadows. Um, I love that they always include one, one of those. Uh, then we also had our little um, ritual kit. Um, contains everything you need to create a pendant imbued with powerful protective energy. And inside this black pouch is, as you saw earlier, um, the black spell candle or chime candle, um, a clear 
piece of quartz, the crystal uh, cage and then the cord where the crystal cage is uh, hanging from. So yeah, really cool. Can't wait to um, perform this ritual. Uh, then we had our super hit incense sticks. Does it say a bit more about this one? No, it just uh, so it tells you more about incense in general, that it is yeah, used as a meditative aid, but also for spiritual cleansing, sacred traditions and rituals, and that you just have to light incense and allow the magical aroma to fill the air and clean your space. So yeah. Oh, I can't stop smelling them, dear. They smell so good. Um, then we also had our uh, tea, our protective digestive blue loose leaf tea by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire. And it has uh, anise, licorice, fennel, currant, rose chip, butterfly, blue pea flower. That was the ingredient I mentioned because that's the, the, the blue pea flower is... Um, the one that makes your water turn blue usually. Um, hibiscus, star anise, nettle, jasmine and natural flavoring. So the anise stands for protection, banishing negativity and divination. Licorice is for personal empowerment and love. And fennel is protection, uh, hex breaking and banishing evil. So yeah, again, not going to open it because this one will go to my cousins. Um, then we had our art print with the witch's brew and this one was made by Stacy Victoria Illustrations. Um, really, really love it. It's like simple yet so fun and modern. So yeah, I love it. But again, my witch's brew is coffee. <laughs> really cool. Um, then we also had our uh, soy pillar uh, candle. Um, again, great candles represent balance and stability, and this helps with complex decisions and compromises. And then last but not least, we had this little uh, special gift, the Magical Intentions notebag, Notepad. An enchanting notepad to help you to regularly set your intentions. Writing down your intentions can give them energy and grant them in reality, and it's perfect to start to manifest them. Specially designed and created for our January sus subscribers as a thank you for your love and support. So yeah, really, really cool. And then it also says that uh, all spells and rituals are created by Witch Coskets co-founder Dap, an experienced practicing witch exclusively for Witch Cosket. So yeah, that's really fun. And then um, on the back, and I think this is the first time they did it, are like little highlights of their previous boxes because this one was from the first box I got I think from them because this is I think like the third or the fourth box I got from them um, but this one was from their um, coven correspondence box that came with like a wax set and cool um, writing paper and everything so yeah I love that one um, but yeah I love this one too because I love the team protection um, I loved all the items I love the color scheme um, so yeah um, picking favorites hmm it's always hard I love the ritual kit because it uh, allows you to make your your own uh, protection necklace um, I love the pin because yeah it's just the pin <laughs> I love pins. Um, what else did we have? The palm stone. Oh yes, the palm stone. Where did you go? Here did it go. So we had our little pentagram. Um, our pentagram pin. And then we had our beautiful palm stone of black agate. Love this one. Because I don't have that many palm stones. I usually have like normal little gemstones so yeah um, that would be my top three but actually I loved everything in this box so uh, yeah really really strong box feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box um, was there something you missed what was your favorite item uh, what was your least favorite item uh, just let me know down below as usual there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram and also a blog post in both Dutch and English about this unboxing um, both links to my Instagram and my blog will be found in the description box, so be feel free to follow me there too. 
And all then that's left to say is thank you guys so so much for watching. If you like this magical video, please give it a thumbs up because it tells you more than you know. And I hope to see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye! Mm -hmm.